This is Quinsley Greenbelt Park. The Truckee River bike path, part of the Greater Tahoe Pyramid Trail, goes to this area. It's our micromobility freeway. They're doing construction on the new Reno Police Headquarters building, which I took notice of on a trip a few days ago. I saw that they had torn out all the trees and shrubs and put a temporary fence in its place. I realized that public access easements to the park could now be provided from Sutro Street. The land is city owned and the ground is level. Currently, the park has no direct access to this neighborhood. The sidewalks are narrow, the bridge is arched, and the only access to the park are these two old steep staircases on either side of the bridge, built somewhere between 1980 and 1994. There is no way by which bicycles or disabled people can access the park. I figured there would be some time to discuss this, but time is running desperately short, it turns out. On my way to document more of my daily trips, I stopped by the construction site to get some footage of the ramp. I saw a worker spraying marks on the ground and spoke to him. He said they were pouring concrete tomorrow. The fence will be two feet away from the bridge. There will be no public access between the bridge and the park. I explained my idea to him and asked if they could push the fence back by eight feet. He told me to talk to the foreman. So I went back down the ramp, then dragged my bike all the way up the staircase, traveled down the narrow four foot wide sidewalk, turned into the parking lot and stopped to have a word with him. How are you? Good, what can I do for you? So, I, uh, I was just speaking to the gentleman there that was marking the, uh, the grass for the, uh, or marking the ground for the, for the fence that's gonna yes, go Yes, sir. Sutro has no access to the bike freeway, except for a staircase that's non-ADA compliant, and that's a park right behind there. Is it possible to set the, uh, the fence that you're building another eight feet back to allow 10 feet of ADA compliant access way to go down <coughs> that into the park. That is way beyond my control. When oh, I, okay. I work here. It's That is 100% the city because this is the Reno Police Department. Correct. Yeah, so, this is city property. Correct. So, so that's 100% to them, their design team, right. and their engineers, and not we, us. This has been in the works for, I've been here a year. Yeah. And but we got another year. And the city is at the property for, well, it had to have it for another year before that, before it went out to bid. Right. Because it's a hard bid job. I it's hard for me to even do what I'm doing because they got me right up against there. That's where, that's where the property line. I'm actually inside the property line by three feet. Right, so this So be, that property line uh -huh. actually goes inside of that cart path in certain areas. So what if they, what if they say stop? Then I stop. Okay. But that must be come from a directive from the city. Right, exactly. And I need to get them. Home. So after I get back from going grocery shopping, I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna call them up and talk to them and say, hey, stop the, stop the presses. So after that, I went on my merry way. I made some phone calls, wasn't really able to get in touch of any one official. Uh, I'm asking for help. I'm asking for everyone who's watching this video to please contact the city, Reno Direct, the city council, your, just let them know, hey, you know what? Improve this. It's not too late. It's just eight feet of room. Let's go ahead and make this so that way people can access the park. And Reno Police Department can also access that park directly because that area really needs patrol. Anyway, that's all I'm asking for. Thank you very much for watching this and uh, we'll talk to each other later. All right, please like and subscribe so that way we can get more things done.